Hello everyone, so I know I haven't made that many, like, Last of Us remake videos that I said I was going to make, uh, but besides speedruns, this will be the first. I'm going to show off some things about the remake that just kind of feel inferior compared to the original, and things that just, when you see it, will just make it look like it doesn't really belong, and I personally hope gets, like, patched or fixed or something that that really just inconveniences players and speedrunners alike. If you're if you don't know what exactly I'm talking about, let's start off with an example right here. I, I'm just picking this area as as my like demo area. But sprinting swings with melee weapons specifically. In the original, when you did a sprinting swing with either a piece of wood, a bat, a pipe, it would always hit them head on in the front. Always. The game did like some tricky camera work where Joel would be, you know, just like zooming into them, but his feet weren't really going anywhere. They would he would move if you started the swing from a bit far away. But if you started the swing like right in front of them, he would just sort of not really move, but the animation would finish. Actually, it it, it would look kinda like this. Hold on. I'll show it what it's supposed to look like. Like that. That's normal. That's perfectly normal. Watch what can happen, though. And this is very annoying and very frustrating. It happens when there's momentum. Clickers move pretty quickly, so watch this. See that? And then what happens is they're, like, right next to you. I hit that clicker in the back. He started a swing and then did, like, a spiral and then finished him off. I'll, I'll just keep doing this a few times over and over and over again. Again, this mainly happens when they're moving towards you. When they're flat-footed, it's okay. See that? I spun around him and hit him in the front. When they're flat-footed, again, it, it's kind of okay. And it, it, it happens with runners, too, right there. You end up hitting them in the back. And you can tell it happens because the noise is different and how they react is different. And it's just weird. It's even worse if you swap to a different gun while you do it. <laughs> that was like a... F uh, 180. That was like a 540. <laughs> Yeah, I'll show it off one more time. I end up hitting him in the back. And again, it happens with runners, too. Yeah. Let's see it on a runner. And you don't have to swap weapons to make it happen. But it's still just... See, it's so easy to get. And if you end up hitting them in their back... I can't get it to not happen. If you end up hitting them in their back, it, it, it ruins just your the swings that will come after it. Again, in the original, that never happened. It was always head-on. Uh... But yeah, that's it for that one. The next one I want to talk about is shotgun melee. Let me show you what I mean. Just like we showed off before, this is what this is supposed to look like, right? Or even if you want to be flat-footed right here. Like that. See? That's, that's perfectly normal. And you can see my inputs on the bottom left. Watch what happens if you try and do all of that with the shotgun in your hand. This is real, okay? <laughs> Nothing happens. Joel doesn't do anything. And it even happens with flat-footed swings. Watch. It happens against humans, it happens against runners or stalkers. But if it happens with a clicker, that's not good.
Okay, let me clear out all the enemies here except for like one runner. Anyway. See that? That one worked. That didn't work. Shotgun in hand. Nope. Nothing. Nope. Nothing there. Oh, look at that. Nothing. Oh, nothing happened there. Oh, nothing there either. And that, <laughs> yeah, you kind of get that. Against a runner, it's whatever. If you mash square, eventually he'll start swinging. And that's a way to avoid the clicker from killing you. But let's say I want to do a sprinting swing because it does the same damage as two flat-footed swings. This is what you get. Now, you won't die if you mash it, but... I don't want to do flat-footed swings. I want to do a sprinting swing. Oh, God, that one was normal. That's what we were talking about before. <laughs> we just got two of them. The non-sprint swing thing and the, the spiraling around them. Yeah, I don't know why, but from what we've played around with, that's a shotgun-specific thing only. I, I, I really don't know why. But yeah, uh, what was I getting at? A way to avoid this is to have anything else in your hand, or if you do have a shotgun, swing when you're right next to them. See that? That kind of gets rid of it. This is really specific to only eh, being. It's specific to being, like, a bit further away from them. So if you if you do have the shotgun in hand, sprint really close to them. Of course, if you do a sprint swing really close to them, you're just going to get the spiraling thing again. So it's, it's, it's stuff like that. It just, it happens so many times, and it just looks so unnatural. And the original didn't have this problem. It, it, it didn't have this problem. That actually brings me to another problem with the shotgun. And that problem is its fire rate. I think it's broken. Look at this. So we have the shotgun reticle. It's just like two very small parentheses, or it's a small parenthesis. <laughs> now when you fire it, it goes from white to gray. The gray indicating it's not ready to fire yet. And then when it goes back to white, it should be able to fire again. So watch this. It's white, it's gray, and then it's white again. Okay. So in theory, I should be able to fire it again once it goes back to white. Watch this. Look at my uh, input display at the bottom, and try and also look at when the 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 colors change. So I should be able to fire again. I'm gonna empty uh, four shots. Watch this. See that? It didn't fire. It didn't fire again. And it didn't fire again. I'm waiting a good half a second before before firing it, it before firing it again so i mean this one's a big deal you know it lowers the fire rate so much and enemies move damn quick in this game like i i'm i'm, I'm not doing anything weird there's, uh, there's no delay i'm doing on the stream it's just this is how the shotgun is in this game. I'm trying to wait, like, the latest. Like, eventually, like, here, watch. Like, if you wait long enough, you can fire it again, but... I feel like... It wasn't this game's intention for you to wait this long. See? And again, why is this a big deal? Because I can't tell you how many times this has happened to me and other runners as well. Like, we don't usually, like, constantly aim while we fire. We fire, move to the next target, 
and then hour. shoot again. It ends up being like this. Because the game just like isn't ready. <laughs> the shotgun isn't ready. All right, that one worked, but you end up doing like boom ch -ch, and it doesn't fire and then like what do you do oh shit i gotta aim nope you're dead <laughs> it happens especially with the first part of graveyard where there's nothing but clickers there yeah that i don't know if if this is like something that was intended or not like maybe it was the developer's intention for the fire rate to be this spread apart or maybe they messed up with the reticle or maybe there's just something that slipped past them. But if you've played the remake, you've probably felt it. The fire rate of the shotgun is just too slow. And I know it's not upgraded yet, but even still, a good fire rate I think would be when the colors like actually change, you know. There. Like what the colors are, I think is perfectly fine. But that's not what we get. <laughs> and I yeah, I know this seems like a minor one, but it's actually huge because I've lost multiple runs to this. So why did I show that off here? Because there's actually another thing I need to show off with the shotgun, which also applies to the rifle. So in this game, when you do a flat-footed swing with the shotgun or the rifle, they swing the end of the gun at the enemy. If you have a melee weapon, you'll always swing the melee weapon when you swing. But if you have nothing in your hand at all, or, or a right holster gun, or even a left holster gun that isn't the rifle or shotgun, you'll throw a punch. If it's a shotgun or rifle, you'll do this. Ellie, we're gonna give it another go. And if you mash square, it go it teleports to your back on the second punch. See? But with the shotgun, he does this. Now that was in the original as well. Only problem is, in the original, they actually reacted to it. Let me show you. The one at the end always goes for a grab first. So. Watch this. He doesn't react to it. And it's 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 not just like a freak thing. <laughs> he doesn't react to it. Now, what about when you do this to a runner that isn't going to grab you? What if he's just doing a punch? Well, he just immediately throws another jab. Now, in that case, he's not finishing the jab he had already started that you interrupted. He just immediately fo follows it up with another jab. So it's... I don't know. You want to say that's broken? I... Well... When, when it comes to swinging on a runner that's about to grab you, yeah, that's broken to shit. I don't know why it wouldn't... Maybe it's left over from part two, where, you know, when a runner was about to grab you, you had to dodge it, and you can't dodge it here. I, I don't know. It's all speculation. Unless someone who worked on this can give us answers, it, it's, it's just how it is. It's a lot of examples here with the shotgun. The shotgun is just... Ugh. It's just... Ugh. From its fire rate to not being able to sp sprint, swing, or just swing in general. I think, uh... Yeah, I say swing, but it also works without a melee weapon. And when I say works, I mean doesn't work. <laughs> like I, the, the example I just showed off prior in, in the high school, where you can't swing a melee weapon, that also applies to your fists. So instead of doing a sprinting swing, sprint punch... He would just run up and then do a flat, uh, flat-footed punch. So yeah, and then you get here. Oh, <laughs> how about that? <laughs> and any other normal punch will like make them like, oh shit, and then just like back off for a little bit. They don't finish what they started. Uh, but yeah, which uh, actually brings me to my. Next point, there's no there's no editing here. We're <laughs> we're going straight through. So there's this thing with the shotgun here. And it's also the case with the rifle and some other guns. 
So with this gun, he has to fire it and then pump it. If, uh... If you fire it and then do something else, like switch to another gun or throw a punch or something, and then go back to the gun, he has to remember to pump it again because you didn't do it before. And on paper, that's like, oh, well, that's actually how a shotgun really works. Huh. I'll show you. So. So the next time you aim. Wait, hold on. Hold on, wait, wait. Why don't we switch to a different gun? There we go. So the next time you aim it, he has to finish the pump. But really, all it ends up doing is this. It's like... So it's like... Okay. Oh, wait. He, he pumped it again. Let me... Uh, let, me let me try all this again. Try and explain it the best I can. So that, there was a glitch, by the way. Okay, here we go. See that? Right there. And this is one of those things. I've had this happen to me so many times, and I still do. It's like you just don't remember that you didn't pump the shotgun, or like you heard it, but you didn't quite finish it. It really just creates more inconvenience than anything. And it's one of those things. It's like there's so much attention to detail with this that it takes away from the experience. I, I don't remember... I probably have a clip somewhere of the of like it ruining an attempt for me, but just keep turning right. Yeah, it's like let me just swap to a different gun, and then okay, that's 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 really like the best way I can show it off, you know. It's like you're ready to do it, but oh, gotta pump it real quick, and then you're dead. You're dead. And it could also be the same thing as a runner, like, coming towards you ready for a grab. Now, a similar kind of logic also applies to Ellie's rifle. It might be with, it might be the same thing with Joel's rifle. I'm not exactly sure. But I know it applies to Ellie's rifle uh, with the bolt. So when you're reloading the rifle, you know, you pull the bolt back, you put the bullets in, you pull the bolt down. But in this game, unlike the original game, the original game, you could just fire off as many bullets as it had but in this game between each shot ellie has to go like this you know you know that's unique to this game unlike the original but all that does is create the same problem that i just showed you if you fire and then either like try and knife someone or swap to a different gun the next time you pull out the rifle you need to do the let me show you. Why don't we do it against the clicker, shall we? See, that? that's not a reload. That's just what she does between each shot. So now we're going to reload this. Here we go. All right. Okay, I fired and I swapped to a different gun just because. Now let's uh, shoot him. See? Now this, again, this I'm not going to show you another example. That's pretty much all I wanted to show with that. But with this, again, I'm not really sure how to feel. It's like, yes, that's how the gun actually works. But all it does is create inconvenience because the like the like just doing that makes the same noise as reloading it. So it's like, am I reloading it or is she just doing that? Did the reload finish? Is she, The next time she aims, am I going to be able to fire the gun? Whereas the original, it's just, you know, let's just, you fire the gun, you reload it, you know? <laughs> There's no, like, next time you aim, you gotta pull the bolt down. Because that's all that's gonna result in. Is a death. Or a grab, or a something. And especially with speedrunning, if something just happens that you didn't intend it to, the whole area is ruined. So, There's so many things like that, that are just so annoying. There's also something else. I don't think I'm going to be able to show it to you here, but... Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to show it to you here. Let me uh, let me find a different spot. All right, I picked the beginning of Coal Mine to show this off. What, and what this something is, is there are times throughout the game I don't know everything about this, what feels like a bug. I don't know if it is or not. Is you'll hit reload... Whoever you're playing as will start to reload, 
and they'll stop after the first bullet. Now, a place where this happens quite often is in coal mine. And also, I'll find a clip of it. Uh, the upside down shooting in Billstown, where you'll empty out your revolver, uh, you'll hit reload, and he'll only reload one bullet instead of the whole thing. Normally how it works is you hit reload and he keeps reloading the whole thing until it's finished or until you aim. Aiming breaks the reload, but sometimes he'll just stop reloading after the first bullet. Same thing happens here. Um, so I'm gonna fire three bullets here. David will give me some ammo and I want, I want it to reload the whole way. But if the bug happens, Ellie will only reload one. And it's not because I only hit R1 once or because I'm mashing it. That doesn't have anything to do with it. It's just... Well, let's, come in through the let's see if it happens. More infected on this side. Two. They must have followed you. Three. All right. Followed David you will friend. give me ammo. It doesn't matter. All right. Reload the whole thing. Stuck in this together. All right. She did that time. Way to go, kid. What about here? Right there. She reloaded it once. I wanted her to reload the whole thing. And that's why it can be bad. What that does is it, like, the time difference between just reloading one and then reloading the next two versus reloading all three right away, it's huge. That gives them time to knock down all the boards or it gives time for a click. These enemies move quick. They move quick. So, you know, that will, hap that will always happen to you at least once in this fight. It will. And there's nothing you did wrong with an input or something. It's just, it's just how it is. Let me try and find a clip of the upside down shooting thing that I talked about. All right, I found a good clip of it. This is from October 6th. Uh, I'll let old me explain what happened and then I'll show and then I'll uh, I'll show you the video. Thanks. I swear to god, I, I I don't know if it's a glitch, only Crooked can say if it is or isn't. But when you go to reload and you only end up reloading one out of a possible six, same thing with the rifle. You re in in winter when you're playing as Ellie, you can reload three, but then you only reload one, then you got to reopen it up. So annoying. So let's scroll back a bit to the beginning of this strategy. Now, this uh, th this strategy is old. Basically, this area works a little differently compared to the original, where you want to waste some ammo uh, before the first wave is finished, so you get more when it's done. I know that doesn't make sense, but that's kind of how it works. Almost every single time I reloaded the revolver here, I meant to reload the whole thing. But it only reloaded one instead. So watch. Joel! And you can see my face, too. Here's the mammal. Right there. And right there again. Right there again. Time, Ellie. And right there again. It's, again, the strategy to leave there with more ammo is a bit strange, but yeah, every single one of those times, I just, I, all I did was hit R1. For some people it's R2, but all I did was hit R1 to reload. And the game was like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm done after one bullet, no matter what. Now, maybe there was a residual from the aim. Again, a way to stop the, the reloading is to aim your gun real quick. So maybe there was some residuals with the aiming in that specific, ex uh, specific example. But I swear I've had it happen where I didn't aim for a good second or so. So... Yeah, one of those things that's very weird, and maybe you yourself have experienced it. All I know is in the original that uh, that never happened. <laughs> that never, ever, ever happened. Never. 
It's a little bit more noticeable in coal mine, though. I figured I would show the off Billstown as, as another example, though. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about something else. All right, let's get this one out of the way because it's it's definitely the worst. I've already made a video about this one because it was the absolute worst, but uh, I'll put it in this video as well in case you missed it. So, Weapon Sway. Unupgraded. It's pretty not fun to work with. As you can see, though, it's not that bad. Right now, we have one that's not upgraded. It's pretty, like, not good with the shotgun, surprisingly, but the shotgun, you know, you only use it up close, so you could get away with not upgrading this. Um... Okay, here's the glitch, and this is definitely a glitch. Let's aim the bow, and let's wait until Joel is tired and just stops aiming it. Arm's shaking, arm is shaking. All right, he's done. Let's aim a different gun. Weapon Sway is now completely glitched. And it will stay this way until you skip a cutscene or restart encounter. Completely glitched. But remember, the shotgun had a lot worse Weapon Sway. So let's see what it looks like. All I'm doing is aiming and moving forward. This is me just, just aiming. I'm not even moving. Joel's had one too many to drink, I think. Reticle's going in the shape of a smiley face, but I ain't, I ain't smiling. <laughs> you know why? This glitch, well, it, as you can see, it's caused by just using the bow. It's at its most severe when you pull the string all the way back, and then he gets tired and just lets it go. Now, in the video, in the comments in the video that I made, the in the video that I made about this, I'm calling it a glitch, some people were like, oh, that's just realism. His arm is tired. So so the next gun he aims, it would be like this. His arm is tired. Developers confirmed this is a glitch. Whether they're working on a patch or not right now, I don't know. Because it's also in part two. This is a glitch. Um, but if we just put it back to normal, we got to listen to them talk again. All right, before we go any further, I got something I got to show you. You don't have to pull the string all the way back and wait for him to let it go to trigger this. Watch. Again, this is the sway normally. It's not great, but it doesn't matter. It's it's a shotgun. All you need to do to get this to happen is do this. And if we switch back, it's worse. You can see it's worse. That's all it takes to trigger the glitch. <laughs> Again, it's more severe when you do when you pull the string back. But even just pulling the string back, like, all right, right? There. Let's just let go. The sway is worse. It's not as bad as uh, waiting for him to let go, but it's still worse. So, like, just here's one glitch. Here's another glitch, and then letting waiting for him to let it go. That's a whole nother one. <laughs> There's three different like levels of severity of this glitch. Now, if you do get it like this, because yeah, all you got to do is use the bow to break the game. A way to like kind of put everything back to closish to normal. Like let's say you let's let's get it as bad as we can again. Like, let's say you're doing permadeath. You can't restart encounter. Good luck Good luck using your other guns if there are no cutscenes to break it up. All right. Swap back. Uh, so drunk. Uh, anyway. A way to, like, lower this again is just do this. Remember that? You also have it, but it'll lower the effects of it, so it's not just like completely hindering your experience. There's a workaround, but 
again, whether they're working on a patch for this one specifically or not. The other ones, I don't think they'll patch. It, it it's it's whatever. It is what it is. This one though, this one's horrible because in our speed runs we use the bow. We fire the bow, I think, like six times or something, but we use it in three different areas. Um, one in hotel, and there are no restart encounters or cutscene skips. So then the hotel kitchen area, we have to deal with that glitch. Um, the part in financial district with the trip wires, we use the bow there, and then we have two... Uh, we we kill two enemies later with a rifle and revolver. We're feeling the full effects of that glitch because the strings pulled all the way back. Um, and then in searchlight, the first enemy we kill in the searchlight area, we use the bow, and then we use the rifle and six revolver bullets afterwards. And you're feeling it. You're feeling it. So this one is definitely the worst one to handle and and deal with. Yeah. Remake. <laughs> oh, man. And no, this isn't in the original. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Let's move on to something else. Okay. Don't be alarmed. We are back on the original game. Because this one deserves a side-by-side -side comparison. So, what we're going to focus on here is... When you punch, sprint punch, or mainly it's like jabbing and sprint punching an enemy, how how long does it take for them to like regain their composure and then start attacking you? Let's look at the original on both humans and infected on different like types of attacks. It's, it's pretty much the, the same with both games with melee weapons, but with bare hands, it's different. So watch this. Okay. Do you notice how long it takes him to, like, regain himself to attack me? The point I'm trying to show off is, like, from the moment of contact until the moment he regains himself to either aim the gun at me, take a step back, or throw another punch. There's a lot of time in between, especially with a, uh, a sprint punch. Not so much time when I punch him in the back. Wait, hold on. I want to do a, uh, a sprint punch. Basically, the point I'm showing off is there's a lot of time in between. Okay. There's a lot of time in between. Okay? It's... And it's, it's the same thing for the infected. Let me show off an example with that. All right, so we're in the downtown fight now. I uh, I have to get rid of a melee weapon, so we're gonna do the the, the speed run strat. And there's one runner at the end. All right. Anyway. So watch how long it takes him to regain himself after a punch. It's just about the same as a person, honestly. And the same thing with a sprint punch. All right, that one knocked him to the ground, but... Again, it's about the same. So yeah, um, let me show off a sprint punch. Ow. Damn it. 
Hold on, hold on. Oh, I just realized I could do this. I know I can. Ah, ah, ah. Oh man, that hurt. You see how long it took him, especially with a sprint punch. He was like, "Oh, oh, whew, oh man." Okay, okay. So why am I showing this off? There's a lot of time in between, which I think is a good thing. If you're if you're like struggling with health or you want a brick or something, you could just throw a punch and then run away and find something to use against him, whether it's a person or an infected. I love that. <laughs> Let me show you what the remake is like. Okay, so for the remake, I'm going to, uh, we're in like the last part of slums. I'm going to clear out the first two enemies and then just flat-footed punch the, the remaining enemy. Now I'll just throw a single punch and then just see how quickly he is ready to throw another punch. Hey, we'll do this quite a few times. In the South Warehouse. Supplies are locked up. Good. Let's do another one. Alright, I wasn't expecting a test. So. Right, test wasn't supposed to help out there. But did you see it? You throw a punch, and then literally half a second later, he's ready to start jabbing at you. Now, if you throw a punch with the left... He takes a little longer to regain himself, but it's still nothing you can do with flat-footed punches can make you, like... All right, here's the example I mentioned earlier. Let's say you want to just throw a punch on an enemy and then run away and just get behind cover. You can't. Watch, if Tess hey, would so kindly not interrupt. Supplies are locked up. Good. Ooh. All right, every single one of these punches, I'm going to be moving away from him. You can't. And for the life of me, I don't know why they made that decision. So in that case, what's perfectly clear is once you hit them once, you got to keep going. You got to finish what you started because there's nothing else you can do. Hey. Let me just show all of that off one more time. If you throw one punch, you can't move away. You just can't do it. So okay, just continuous, continuously mash square. That's that's an option. Yeah, sure. What if there are some fucking other enemies in there? <laughs> Look, I'm gonna do this without uh, without killing anyone, and let's just see how it goes. Like. That's what the game wants. I can't stop punching him. Otherwise, I get punched. So, I, again, from a game design check standpoint, the way the original did it was so much better. You hit a guy, it allowed you to do something afterwards. Here, you are screwed. Again, this is what the game wants hey, you to do. Consolidated the crates in the South Warehouse. Supplies are locked up. Good. Let's do it. All right, just 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 mash square. Just mash square. Just just do it. There's no way out of it. There's no way out of it. There is no way out of it. If you don't continue to do that, you're going to get punched. And actually, I think I did get punched. But there's a thing in this game where if you both throw a punch at the same time, yours will take priority over his, but 
I think he'll still do a little bit of damage to you. I'm ungrounded, so I can't see the, the health bar. But yeah, this by far is the most annoying thing you'll experience. Also, the punches are thrown a lot slower, but that's not really the issue here. It's how quickly they regain themselves. Let me try, like, sprinting away. Alright, I, I guess you could sprint away. Um, let me see how quickly they regain themselves from a sprint punch. That's something I want to see. Good. Ow. Alright, Tess is going to kill that person. Consolidated the crates in the south warehouse. Supplies are locked up. Good. Let's do another once over and then head out. Okay. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, this this guy, it seems like, with regards to sprint punches, I think the game gives you a little bit of a, of a benefit of the doubt. Good. Let's do another once over and then head out. So, like, if you wanted to get away from this guy, you could, but he it's still a little bit off. That's not as big a concern. And uh, speaking of sprint punches, let me show you how that works on the infected. I showed it off a little bit. Let me show you how it works on the infected. All right, I picked uh, the gym area because it's just uh, me and, and one runner. So. So these guys react pretty similarly to, to uh, the original. There's some more infected outside we can do this on. As you can see, right off the bat, the jabs, the infected react pretty similarly compared to the original. Yeah, there's one right here. Bill won't get in our way. See, it takes him a while to just be like, all right, ready to attack again. What about the left hand? All right, left hand, not so much. Left hand, not so much. Watch what happens with the sprint, though. They regain their consciousness so quickly. And I have a clip that is just like the worst example you'll, you'll see. So to recap, you know, the original game, you know, anybody you threw a punch at, they were just like, oh, man, blah, blah, blah. It would take them a while to regain their composure to attack you again, whether it's human or infected. In in the remake, humans, you know, they they just attack you right away again. Sprint punch, they they take a little bit longer to to uh, regain themselves. But any form of jab you do, you can't escape. So if you're jabbing someone, you need to finish them off right then and there. It's so annoying. Infected, as you just saw, a jab can kind of keep them at bay a little bit. Sprint punches, though, it's the opposite. They regain their composure faster on a sprint punch than they do with just a jab. I just showed it to you there, and watch this example. This is the worst example. Superior game, by the way. <laughs> I'm a smartass with titles on my Clips channel. But as you can see, Joel is one hit away from dying. And I want to kill this runner because you don't have to. You can, like, bait it, but sometimes he drops a shotgun shell. So the strat is to kill it. Not with a shotgun, but with your fists. So I tried to do two sprint punches. Watch what happens. He's just like, fuck you, I'm throwing another punch. How fair is that? He regains his composure, or her composure, right? There! Now, maybe that could be an elevation thing, but I don't think it is. I think it's just this game. The more times you watch it, the worse it looks. I threw a punch right after the first one, and he still hit me. Uh, where are we? So, yeah, this is... <laughs> It's just all messed up. The way the original did it was so much better. Why would the game punish you for, like, 
Ah, oh, doing that to an enemy, they should be like, oh, fuck, that hurt. Let me take two seconds to collect myself. Not in this game. This game's like, ah, oh, fuck you. Ah, oh, you hear my, you hear the intensity in my voice? It just, there's no reason for it to be like this. This ain't a clip. This is just me playing. Let's see how long it takes for me to get punched after a sprint punch. Keep going. I'm right behind you. All right, well, that one that one took a while for no reason. What if I keep running? Maybe that has something to do with it. Look at that. that, that that's so wrong. That's just so wrong. It, it is. It just is. I don't think that's something that they're going to patch or fix. It is. It, I think that's what they wanted. I don't know. I have no one to ask this stuff to. And again, I'm just a guy with an opinion of, oh, it should be this way, not this way. I don't have any power over this. But I, 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 I feel very strongly about all this. This makes playing and running this game just not enjoyable. All of the examples. I, I don't know if I have much to show after this, but... Yeah, all the stuff so far, it's just... I'm very passionate about it because it... I think... Every single thing I've shown you so far has ended ended one of my attempts or someone else's attempts or just fucked with someone else's normal playthrough. So yeah, this is important stuff to me. Yeah, that's it for that specific example. Um, on to whatever's next, I don't even know. All right, what I'm about to show you isn't like a huge deal, but it's something I can't help but notice, and it just, visually, it doesn't look good. Um, in the original, if you did a sprinting melee weapon swing, a sprinting melee weapon swing on a human, or even a, I've noticed it happened on a clicker, and you knock them down to the ground, they don't necessarily beg for their life, but all it takes is one more swing over the top to do them in for a total of two swings. Now, sometimes it would be three swings if you do a sprinting swing and the person you hit stays standing. But if they're knocked to the ground, all it takes is a sprinting swing and then an over-the-top swing on their head. Now, you can get two swings on a kill. You can get two swings on a kill, but you need to, like, regain your sprint speed in order for that to happen. So I'm just going to wait for this enemy to come here. So what first I'll show off a way to get a, a two swing kill. You need to sprint swing them and then kind of sprint swing them again. Like that. But every time you do a sprint swing in this game, it knocks the enemy to the ground. But if you do a flat footed swing afterwards. Damn it. It, like, it stands them back up. The swing doesn't kill them, and it stands them back up. I don't think this was in the original. I'm actually not not sure. Let me show you. I'm just, I'm just going to do an, a, a normal swing after the first one. See that? That, that doesn't look good. And it's also very annoying. Uh, Again, there's a way to get... I just showed you a way to get them in two swings, but it, sh it should be two swings normally. That one was another over the top, but that just kind of stood him up again. I'll show it one more time. I'll replay the first one, too. Again, this isn't the biggest deal compared to, like, other examples that I've shown, but... I've always thought this didn't really ever look right. See how he's like on all fours, like almost getting ready to beg for his life, and then you just do an over-the-top swing that just kind of like stands him up a little, a little bit. Here I saved uh, one of the examples onto my console. Sorry, I'm not streaming, so I couldn't clip it, but. Uh... 
We can like freeze it and stuff. I think this was the correct example. No, it was one earlier than that. Or right, this one. Or the one before. Yeah, that one. That one. Okay, so watch. Notice how he, you know, he does the sprint swing, and then he does, like, a left-handed swing that just stands him back up. So watch. He is on the ground. Look at that. He is on the ground right there. So what does Joel do? He does a lefty swing that just teleports him standing straight up again. The original game would do a finisher. And again, visually, it just doesn't look good. See, like, on back-to-back -back frames, he goes from this to, like, standing straight up and reacting to the hit of, off the end, end of the pipe. Here, I'll show it one more time, and I won't pause it. It doesn't look right. The, like, the finishers are fine, but I'm saying the finisher should happen after the second one. Or after the, after the first hit. Visually, it doesn't look good. <laughs> and sometimes you just don't know if you have a uh, enough sprint momentum to get the second kill. I appreciate that, like when you do get the second swing, it's usually a right-handed one, and you're and uh, you're good to move again. But yeah, that that's that's that that's something that's really always annoyed me about this. I'm repeating myself, but again, in the original, it would be three swings if the first swing didn't knock them to the ground. If they stayed on their feet, it'd be three swings, but if they got knocked to the ground on a sprint swing, it'd be two swings. So, yeah, in my opinion, just something else that the original did a little bit better. All right. I'm running out of examples to show, but uh, let's see if I can find one more. Okay, I'm I'm kind of out of, out of uh, examples to show, but I uh, I'll include this one as an honorable mention because it's something I always hated in part two. It was clearly intentional by the by the devs, but um, that something is if an enemy is aiming at you and you go to try and shoot back at them, you can't. You will get hit before you can even get the reticle on the screen. Again, this might be a difficulty thing, and I've noticed it's not as severe in the remake compared to part two, but it's still pretty bad. I, I was just playing around with it, and I have an example here. So I got this enemy to peek at me. Like that. Okay, so I'm in cover, and this enemy is aiming at me. In the original, if you were in a situation like this, if you popped up, he would always 100% of the time miss his first shot. Now that's one of those things where you could go like, pop up, he'll miss his first shot, you go back down. You pop up, he misses his first shot. I'm talking, when I say first shot, I mean like a string of consecutive shots. So in the original, like, stand up, pop down, stand up, pop down. He'll always miss the first shot. But here, watch how quickly I get hit. Yeah. <laughs> Again, just watch. All right, I get him to aim, so watch. I always hated that. Because you're taking the gun out of your gun game. <laughs> No, it's a zombie game. Yeah, you use guns in it, okay? I always hated that. <laughs> Give me a chance to shoot him. What you're supposed to do is either wait for him to get behind cover and then aim at him, or flank him. It's like, fuck that, I wanna shoot him. <laughs> Again, that's more of like a own personal complaint than uh, like something that I feel is wrong with the game. Like the other examples, I tried to show off things that are like legit wrong with it. 
that really overall just weren't there in the original. This one I is a f feature that I just never liked. Never. So much so I'm going to play it for you one more time. The reticle never even made it onto the screen. I hate that. I hate that so much. <laughs> Give me a chance. Give me half a second with the reticle on the screen. Give me a chance. But yeah, that's that, that one's more whatever. So yeah, I didn't want to turn this into like a glitch video, but these are some things that are in the remake that I just personally don't like. And in my opinion, it's kind of hindered other runners from enjoying this game a little more. I, 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 I don't... I, I'm being harsh. I don't mean to be, but... Because again, I... I <laughs> my name's in the credits. You know, I, I, I got to see the faces behind the people that, that make this game and stuff. And it's, it was all a cool experience, but... There, the number of things that are just, in my opinion, inconveniencing players, with this game specifically, it's just starting to mount. And I, to the point where most of these things, the game from nine years ago, doesn't have these problems. It has its own set of problems, believe me. No one's played it more than I have, but... Overall, I think I'd rather deal with the jank of the original than some of the things I showed off in this game. There was a certain... like, good flow the original had. Casually, I still feel like this is the better game. Casually. But as a speedrun, there's a lot of things here that... all the things that I showed off in this video... that... is making it difficult to enjoy is making it difficult to enjoy. So yeah, I kind of went on some tangents here and there, but uh I hope you get you got you get the uh the gist of the video. Not technically glitch, some are legit glitches, but just some things that I think the original did better that I'm a little upset that are in this remake of my favorite video game of all time. So yeah. That's it. See you guys. Bye.